Uh, good Monday evening, folks. This is G the Truth, of course. Usually I go on here and ramble about certain social subjects and how I feel about certain aspects of life, but today is not one of those things. Today, this is about honoring one of the people that was a pioneer, a local legend in terms of sports journalism. He's himself, Tom Kowalski. Better known to most um, hardcore sports fans who listen to him on WDFN or on um, MLive.com as Killer. Now, it, it was weird, like, finding out what happened because I was in the middle of working and I found out that he actually that died. I'm like, was this a joke or something? Because he was just on the news a couple of nights ago on Channel 2 talking about the Lions and the Patriots. But, unfortunately, everything turned out to have been unfortunately true. So what ended up happening, he died around, what, 9 a.m. this morning? His wife found him unresponsive, and they took him to a local hospital where he couldn't revive him. They pronounced him dead on that scene. You know, but my memory of Keller, you know, I think of him as a gritty, uh, great journalist, a man who would not let down off any story. He would put the pedal to the metal on any on any story about the Detroit Lions. That's what he was known more for as being a Detroit Lions beat writer. And you know, his aggressive style, you know, you know, it gave, it gave me my respect. Even though I'm not a Lions fan, I'm a Packers fan personally, but. It gave me the respect of, you know, you know, I was like, okay, every time you see him on TV on Fox 2 or listen to him on the radio on WDFN, it's like, yeah, you automatically have to respect Killer. And that's why I got to know him more on the radio, you know, because I never got the chance to call him or anything on the show, on the show. you know, because I'm always at work or I'm doing something else, so I just always listen to the podcast the next day. That's my way of, you know, catching up on the previous night stories. And it's funny, he actually grew to being a very entertaining character on the show, Sean Turpin Killer, which is my favorite show on sports radio. It's the one show that I stay loyal to and will stay more loyal to than ever now because of what has happened. But he actually grew into being a very entertaining figure. He actually, you know, he grew on me. He became funny. He had a sense of humor. And I began to know him more off the KMZ set. Which I used to think was funny because it would randomly drive Sean Legion insane. That was like my great memory of, of, of him, you know. His, you know, mocking of the TMZ, you know. And just, you know, hearing him on there you know, telling us great stories about Snooky and how Sean Legion would just randomly get mad. It was just humorous to me, you know. It was my, and, you know, that show was my way of getting through tough times at work or whenever it was boring. You know, just sit back and listen to it while you're working. It's like, oh, the world's a little bit better. You know that, you know, there's somebody out there that can make your day better. And that show, Sean Turpin Killer, has made my day better and still will towards the future. But it was a very devastating loss to the sports community in Detroit, the metro Detroit area today. So, Killer, you're in a better place, man. That's all I'll say about that. And Sean and Turp will carry your legacy on. That's what he would have wanted. So carry on, Sean and Turp. God bless and have a good night.